Hey there fellow roamers, welcome back to Whimsical Roaming, your go-to channel for all things travel. Today we have something special for you, we're diving into the mystical world of Outlander with our guide to Scotland. If you're an Outlander fan like me, you know just how enchanting the Scottish landscapes are in the series, and guess what? You can visit many of these stunning filming locations in real life. First of all, I just have to apologise in advance for my terrible Scottish pronunciations, I hope I don't offend anyone. And uh, you'd never know that I actually have Scottish blood in me. But uh, here we go. Wish me luck. First up, Dune Castle. Our first stop on this Outlander adventure is the iconic Dune Castle, which doubles as Castle Leoch in the show, the home to Clan Mackenzie. Walking through these ancient halls, you can almost hear Claire and Jamie's footsteps echoing through time. Nestled amidst the breathtaking scenery of the Trossachs National Park, Dune Castle is a must visit for any Outlander enthusiast. The castle is remarkably well preserved and the excellent self-guided audio tour narrated by Sam Hewen from Outlander and Terry Jones of Monty Python fame will guide you through the castle's history and its use as a film location. Explore the vast Great Hall and wind your way up the spiral staircase to enjoy views over the River Teeth and the beautiful surrounding countryside. Falkland Next up we're venturing to the charming village of Falkland where you can step into the shoes of Claire as she strolls through the streets of Inverness in the 1940s, home to Claire and Frank during their post-war second honeymoon. Fun fact, Falkland in the Kingdom of Fife is now famous around the world thanks to its appearance in the opening scenes of Season 1 as 1940s Inverness. Culross Hidden in the Kingdom of Fife lies the charming royal borough of Culross, a must-visit for any Outlander fan. This historic village starred as Craig's Muir in Seasons 1 and 2, and Loch Har's residence in Season 4. Explore its medieval streets, visit the Mercat Square, and don't forget the breathtaking view from behind Colross Palace. Keep an eye out for Colross in the upcoming 8th and final season of Outlander. Clover Cairns Now no Outlander journey would be complete without a visit to the mystical standing stones of Craig Nadoon. While the fictional Craig Nadoon was created for the show, you can experience the magic of standing stones at locations like Clover Cairns near Inverness. In the Scottish Highlands. Although no scenes were actually filmed here, it is definitely worth a visit. Culloden Battlefield Whilst in Inverness, you have got to check out the Culloden Battlefield, the site of the final battle of the failed 1745 Jacobite Uprising. Featured in seasons 2 and 3, stones lie on the field commemorating the Highland clans who lost men in April 1746. After walking across the windswept moor, you can learn more at the excellent Culloden Culloden Visitor Centre. Hopeton House. Hopeton House is a magnificent stately home nestled just outside Edinburgh in South Queens Ferry. For over 300 years it has been the residence of the Hope family, with the current Earl of Hopeton still calling it home today. If you're an Outlander fan you'll recognise the Grand Estate from scenes in the first three seasons. It's perhaps most famously known as the Duke of Sandringham's residence. Picture those intense moments from the show, like the duel on the lawn and steps between the Duke and the MacDonald clan, or the dramatic sword fight in season one. And for those who yearn for a taste of Parisian elegance, venture upstairs to Claire's bedroom from season two. When you visit Hopeton House, you're invited to explore the house and grounds at your leisure, allowing you to step back in time and soak in the history. Don't forget to make your way up to the roof viewing platform for stunning vistas across the Firth of Forth, offering a glimpse of the iconic bridges. Midhope Castle now let's talk about Midhope Castle. Situated within the Hopeton Estate, this is the famed Lally Broch, or Broch Toroch, the ancestral home of our beloved Jamie Fraser. Trust me, this was a personal favourite for us. As soon as you can catch sight of the castle, you'll feel like you've been transported to the heart of the Scottish Highlands. The exterior resemblance to Lally Broch is simply remarkable. While the castle itself is derelict and can only be admired from the outside, it only adds to the atmosphere and allure of the place. A definite must-see for any Outlander enthusiast. Blackness Castle Step back in time to the 18th century Scotland with us as we explore the captivating Blackness Castle. Situated on the shores of the Firth of Forth, this fortress and former prison earned the nickname The Ship That Never Sailed due to its boat-like structure when viewed from the River Forth. In the Outlander series, Blackness Castle takes on the role of Fort William, serving as Black Jack Randall's headquarters and providing the backdrop for several of Jamie's prison scenes. As we wandered through its winding passageways and onto the battlements walk, we were treated to breathtaking views across the Firth of Forth 
towards the Kingdom of Fife, Scotland at its very best. Linlithgow Palace Next up, we're diving into the rich history and eerie allure of Linlithgow Palace in West Lothian, a popular filming location for good reason. Imagine stepping into the ruins of the Royal Palace of the Stuart Kings and Queens, surrounded by a sprawling park and nestled alongside Linlithgow Loch. On a serene day, the imposing structure casts an eerie reflection in the tranquil waters, setting the scene for a journey through time. As the birthplace of both James V and Mary Queen of Scots, Linlithgow Palace has no shortage of stories to captivate history buffs and curious travellers alike. Now let's talk Outlander. This iconic palace served as the entrance and corridors of Wentworth Prison in the series, where Jamie faced the menacing Black Jack Randall. And let's not forget those spine-chilling torture scenes that will have you on the edge of your seat. So, are you ready to experience the haunting beauty of Lilithgow Palace for yourself? Come along, if you dare. The Highland Folk Museum. Of course, no trip to Scotland is complete without sampling some fine whiskey, and what better place to do so than at the Highland Folk Museum, which served as the backdrop for many scenes in Outlander's first season. It's not just whiskey that's on offer here. You can also immerse yourself in Scotland's rich history and culture. For Outlander fans, the star of the show is a recreated 18th century township, which was used in filming as the Mackenzie Village. Loch Rannoch. Last but not least, we're venturing to the hauntingly beautiful shores of Loch Rannoch, where scenes featuring Lally Brock were filmed. Surrounded by towering mountains and tranquil waters, Loch Rannoch is the epitome of Scottish wilderness. So there you have it, fellow adventurers, our Outlander Guide to Scotland. Whether you're a diehard fan of the books and series, or simply seek an adventure in the Scottish Highlands, these filming locations are sure to leave you spellbound. Thanks for joining us on this magical journey, and be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Whimsical Roaming for more travel inspiration. Until next time, happy roaming!